Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up a couple more problems here. Um, doing synthetic division, incorporating uh, dummy terms. So once again, I'll leave these uh, steps for you in case you missed them in the other videos. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, work a couple problems here. So let's say we have this. Let's say we have x cubed plus 3x uh, divided by... Uh, x plus 4. Okay, so first thing you want to do is figure out what's what's the dummy terms. In this case, the dummy terms are going to be what? We've got x cubed. We need an x squared, so that's that's missing. So plus, let's do this, plus 0x squared. Uh, we've got our 3x, so that's a power of 1, so we're cool with that so plus 3x and there should be a constant so we're missing that too so let's go ahead and put that in there uh, plus 0 okay so let's go ahead and write down our coefficients and we've got in this case 1 0 3 and 0 so 1 0 3 and 0 and we're going to be synthetically dividing by we're going to change the constant in the divisor to negative we're going to change the sign so this is going to be negative 4 okay so let's go ahead and work this out Okay, so bring down the 1, and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and add going down, so that's what you did first, and you get negative 4, negative 4, negative 4 is going to be 16, and 16 plus 3 is going to give you a 19, and negative 4 times a 19 gives you a, you can use your calculator for this, a negative 76 and add going down you get negative 76 so your final answer is going to be this it's going to be one degree less than what you started off with so coefficients are one negative four and nineteen and this is your remainder so you're going to end up with x squared minus four x plus nineteen and you can write this one of two ways. You can either write minus 76 over x plus 4, or you can write it as x squared minus 4x plus 19 plus negative 76 over x plus 4. Either, choice, either one is, is fine. So these are both acceptable answers. Okay, and uh, let's go do another problem here. A little more difficult, actually. Um, how about this? It's kind of long. Um, how about this one right here? 3x to the 6th plus 4x squared plus x. Um, and I guess forget the constant right now. We'll go ahead and, and figure out which is going to be, um, what are going to be our dummy terms. Let me go ahead and put this over, let's say x minus 2. Okay, so first thing you want to do is figure out where the dummy terms go. In this case here, this, we're going to go ahead and rewrite this like this. First of all, 3x to the 6th, okay? The next thing should have something x to the 5th. Well, I don't see any 5th degree, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So, plus 0x to the 5th. The next one should be x to the 4th somehow. I don't see a 4th, so let's put another dummy term in here. Plus 0x to the 4th. I don't have a 3 plus 0x cubed 
four the the four x squared will work over here because I need a descending power uh, and from three, which is two. So in this case here, we can go ahead and add in the uh, plus four x squared. And I need x to the one, so I have an x, so that's that's good. Plus x, and there should be a constant here. I don't have one, so I'm going to go ahead and put plus zero. So now my new coefficients are going to be 3, 0, 0, 0, 4, 1, and 0. And just make sure when you're doing this on your test you double check. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and change the constant on the divisor, change the sign on the constant of the divisor and put that here. So it's going to end up being a positive 2. And we'll do like we've been doing with all the other problems. Just go ahead and set this up. And I probably should have mentioned this from the very beginning, but some people do synthetic division a little different than others. You know, some of them may have a rectangular box out here. Or some of them actually stick, you know, the lines over here. It really doesn't matter. Um, they're all right. Everything is correct. It, just as long as you know what you're doing. Okay. So what you're going to do is bring down the 3, and 2 times 3 is going to give you 6, and 6 plus 0, add going down, gives you 6, then you multiply the 2 times the 6, and you get 12, add going down, 12, 2 times the 12 gives you 24, add going down, and you get the 24, and you get the idea. 2 times 24 uh, gives you a 48 and go ahead and add down um, in this case here you'll get 52 2 times 52 uh, is pretty simple uh, that's going to be 104 and 104 plus 1 gives you 105 and 2 times 105 gives you 210 okay and that goes down here so your new answer is going to be this. One degree less. Um, in this case here, you start off with x to the sixth. So every descending power of x is going to start here. Well, they're all going to, it's going to start with a five, and then it's going to go, all, the, all of them will follow. So this will be x to the four, three. So the answer will look like this. Three x to the fifth plus 6x to the fourth plus 12x cubed plus 24x squared plus 52x plus 105 plus 210 over x minus 2. And that would be your final answer. So it was a little long, but it's pretty much as hard as it's going to get. Um, you don't need to check your answer right now. Most most of the uh, equations that we're doing right now are uh, really just exercises. You'll probably utilize more of this when you go into like college algebra or in calculus when you're trying to uh, find uh, roots to break down, well, for graphing purposes, like to break down large um, uh, polynomials like this. So, but I'll be covering some of that in other videos, and um, I really hope this helped out. So, practice making some problems up for yourself, since you already have the idea of, you know, doing the mechanics of long division by this method called synthetic division. Uh, just go ahead and, um, and really make sure you understand, you know, what you're putting in, you know. So, like in this case here, you talk to yourself and tell yourself, okay, 3x to the 6th, next one should be 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, and this one here really is like x to the 1 power, and there's an invisible x to the 0 here, but, but you don't have to write all that. But anyway, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.